Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. We're going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 5.0.1 using Snowbreeze 2.9. You want to make sure you set the compatibility mode to Windows XP and also right click and run as administrator. This is the latest version of Snowbreeze 2.9. Once you have it loaded up, go ahead and click on OK there. And as you can see, all the iOS versions that this excellent tool is capable of jailbreaking, including iOS 5.0.1. So go ahead and click on Next there. And now you have the option to browse for your IPSW firmware file or which is new in Snowbreeze, you can actually download your firmware directly from Snowbreeze using the IPSW downloader. So you just select your device from the left-hand column and then select the iOS version from the right-hand column. You can actually just use this as a standalone downloading tool for your IPSW firmware. But since I already have it on my system here, I'll go ahead and just browse for my firmware. I selected the 5.0.1 firmware from my iPhone 4. And you have four different modes you can go into. You have iFaith mode, which allows you to stitch your blobs or create a signed IPSW. We talked about that on our iFaith tutorial. Simple mode is what we're going to use today. That is just for a basic jailbreak with Cydia, etc. And then you also have expert mode, which allows you to do things like make custom boot logos, set root partition size, and installer options. And then baseband preservation mode, which allows you to upgrade your iPhone's firmware without jailbreaking and without updating the baseband, which is is really handy that actually applies to all the different modes now it's going to ask you if you need to activate if you don't have a valid sim card or you're not using a carrier provided sim card you may need to do that in this case i do not need to do that now here is perhaps one of the most time consuming portions of the snow breeze jailbreak it's going to actually create your custom firmware we sped this up considerably just to show you guys how this works without making you sit through a lot of loading screens so Right now it is creating the IPSW and it should be done. There it is. Now it's going to ask which, if you would like to donate to Pa2G. If you haven't done so, you might want to do that uh, for his untether exploit. And here is the custom firmware that was created. It will be on your desktop, so just identify that. Then go ahead and click OK. You want to go ahead and put your device in the DFU mode. Of course, you hold power and home at the same time for 10 seconds. Release power, continue holding home for 10 more seconds, and then your screen should look like this, a black screen. Next, click on Start, and it should run iRib, which will put your device into pwned DFU mode for a custom restore in iTunes. You should see the notification right here iTunes will probably load up. You can just go ahead and click OK there. And we're done with Snowbreeze. All we need to do now is to restore using the custom firmware that was created and is on our desktop right now. So just hit OK in iTunes. And now we can hold Shift and press Restore. Now we want to identify the Snowbreeze custom firmware. Make sure it does have Snowbreeze in front of it. Make sure it's for your device 5.0.1. This is essential because you don't want to end up upgrading to a stock firmware and end up updating your baseband if you rely on an unlock or something like that. So just be careful when doing that. Now your iPhone should look like this and it should just go through the entire jailbreak. You'll see the Snow Breeze logo here in just a second. And basically that's all you need to do is just wait. Just wait, wait, wait. And you should have your jailbroken iPhone running iOS 5.0.1 in no time. So we're not going to make you guys sit through all of that. Here is the jailbroken iPhone. And now I'm going to speed up the setup process. Just going to enter in my Wi-Fi address and all that jazz. Just so you can see that it is indeed jailbroken running iOS 5.0.1. There is Cydia. So let's open up Cydia. And there it is, folks. All you need to do, run Snowbreeze just like we showed you there. And you can jailbreak your iPhone or your iPod Touch or whatever device you want to jailbreak running iOS 5.0.1. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.